Hey everybody, God bless you all. <clears throat> um, this is the scripture I was led today, and I wanted to read it to you guys, and just so that we can reflect on where we're at, you know, because my passion, my desire is that people be the best that they can and 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 to bring the truth of the the scriptures in their entirety the gospel and i spend uh the where the whole word in its entirety and you guys i spend a lot in the past 3 years i've spent many many probably months worth of time in the word i've read most all of the bible besides like maybe one book or maybe two books and i've read all the other books i've read them multiple times so the lord has revealed um like i know what's in the scriptures you guys and i don't know i don't know exactly how everything like in what sequence these things are going to happen but i know what's in there you guys i know i know what this scripture say and i want to share it with people you know um because it might say one thing in one area you guys but it it might say another thing in another area and people look at that as a contradiction but it's like no you just have a narrow spectrum of how you see things you're looking at things carnally you know and so i want to share like i want people to go into the kingdom first and foremost but i want to share what what the fathers revealed to me and um this is what he showed me today it says in this way we are all to come to unity in our faith and in our knowledge of the son of god okay so yeshua or yahusha came here to earth you guys to show us how to live that was god in the flesh he came here to show us like hey you guys if you do this this and this you're going to become a perfected creature now it's not you know we weren't yahushua or yeshua so we can't be without flaw right but that's not what god that's not the hebrew meaning of perfect and that's not what god when god says perfect it's not what it mean. it means it doesn't mean without a flaw you guys okay when it said that like uh moses walked per or not moses but uh abraham or or one some of the one of our forefathers he said that he walked perfect it's not because he didn't sin okay and i'm going to show that in a minute so like when when yahusha or yeshua says like practice passover do this in memory of me, not the Passover with the lamb, with the blood and the, and the, the or with the, <laughs> with the wine and the bread, which symbolizes blood. Um, so if you want to be obedient and follow in his footsteps, then we should do that. And by the way, I'm going to do a video on that today because we are going to do that tomorrow. Um, so... Um, yeah, you guys, we it's a decision to follow in Jesus' footsteps or Yeshua's footsteps. Okay, it's 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 a decision. It's a decision not to sin. Okay, the only thing that we can't um, control, you know, is this antenna. Sometimes thoughts come into our head, you know. So until we become the perfect man perfect man you guys okay and remember perfect doesn't mean without flaw it just means the goal it means keep pressing forward you know fully mature with the fullness of christ himself then we shall know then we shall not be children any longer or tossed one way or another and carried along by every wind of doctrine at the mercy of all the tricks men play and their cleverness in practice practicing deceit if we live by the true if we live by the truth and in love you guys see the love 
what you guys when you learn to love God with all your being and love your neighbor you will be granted a wisdom that is beyond anything that this world comprehends we shall grow in all ways into Christ who is the head by whom the whole body is fitted and joined together every joint adding its own strength for each separate part to work according to its function so the body grows until it has built itself up in love in love you guys love okay so mm, now you guys those who have been not only in this scripture but you guys it, like in the end times those who are going to be held from the hour of temptation the hour of trial these are people who have who have been sanctified who have who have done what the scripture said who have lived a holy life there's a small group of people that's what i'm encouraging that's why i encourage people to do what the scriptures say you guys when when yeshua said at the passover do this in memory of me that should be something you do, you guys. He gave thanks to the bread and to the wine to the Father. He manifested a spiritual sacrifice there. And he said, I am this bread. This is That's what takes away the sins of the world. What That was a symbol of what he did. And when we do that, we proclaim his death. We receive many spiritual blessings, graces, and gifts. This is why people... Uh, a lot of people lack you guys because it's kind of like baptism if you haven't been baptized you're gonna be lacking some things you know some spiritual blessings and graces and gifts okay you're proclaiming his death you're giving him glory that's going to bring you spiritual blessings and gifts right he said and when you're obedient Jesus said do what I'm doing so there's going to be a small group of people, you guys, that are going to be gathered, who are holy people, who love giving glory to God, who, who, um, they were proven and shown to be different. And ye shall eat fat till ye be full, and drink blood till ye be drunken of my sacrifice, which I have sacrificed for you. Thus ye shall be filled at my table with horses and chariots and with mighty men, with all the men of war, saith the Lord God. And I will set my glory among the heathen. Okay? And I will set my glory among the heathen, and all the heathen shall see my judgment that I have executed. It's talking about the end times judgment, you guys. And my hand that I have laid upon them. So the Lord... So the house of Israel shall know that I am the Lord their God from that day forward. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity because they trespass against me. You guys, that's why we are dispersed away from the promised land. Okay, that's why we're, that's why we're not all, all of his children, spiritual or literal. That's why they're not all over in the promised land or near it even. We got scattered abroad of throughout the whole world because of our sins, because our forefathers transgressed. Okay? That's why we're under oppression right now. Therefore hid I my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies, so they fell, so fell they all by the sword. According to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions have I done unto them and hid my face from them. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Now, I, now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel and will be jealous for my holy name. After that they have born their shame and all their trespasses whereby they have trespassed against me when they dwelt safely in their land and none made them afraid when i have brought them again 
from the people and gathered them out of their enemies' lands, where we are now, and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. Okay, so they're going to see this, you guys. Then shall they know that I am the Lord their God, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them unto their own land. You guys, this is about his holy people going back to the promised land. That's what this whole thing is about, you guys. He's going to sp deposit his glory in and show the world. Just like when Jesus was transfigured on the mountain, you guys. He was showing that to the, the disciples. Because he knew the trials, the tribulations, and the things that they were going to go through. Um, through the, the after during the cross when he was crucified and after and how much shame that they're going to feel so he was showing them a good thing like this is what you had to edify them right that's what he's going to do with his holy people and this time he's going to do that again but with his holy people he's going to glorify them to show the other people this is kind of, you know this is how my people are rewarded so that it encourages them for for when they go through the worst the great tribulations but that doesn't mean you guys they're not going up into heaven that's not when when it talks about the rapture you guys that's something completely different it's not about going to heaven they're going to be taken to the mountains okay and have left none of none of them any more there neither will I hide my face from them, for I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saith the Lord. Now, you guys, I don't mean to, um, like, that's the, that's not the only scripture where it talks about this gathering, okay? There's many, if you just go to this website, Bible, um, whatever, I forgot what it's called, a Bible website, and type in the word gathered, or gather, you're gonna see that throughout the whole Bible, there is going to be a holy people gathered together, okay? So that's what I'm encouraging everybody to do, to seek the Lord, repent. The day of the Lord is at hand. Seek the Lord with all your heart. Do what it says in the scriptures. Pray, you guys. Live a holy life and give him all your heart. Love God with all your heart and love your neighbor and you will be there. Um... And there's some good Christians, you know, that, that aren't going to be there, you guys. They didn't do that. You know, it doesn't mean they're bad people. It just means that they're going through tribulation and they're going to, um, you know, they're, they have to be, they have to go through other things to come into that land. Um, now, okay, so I have two minutes left on this, but... It says in the book of Daniel, chapter 9, you guys, when I was talking about being perfect, okay, this is Daniel, and he was also called, uh, the angel, uh, Gabriel, called him, referred to him as the son of man. So there's, there's different sons of man, you guys, besides Yeshua. Okay, there's, there's uh, several, or at least a couple, I know. It says, for you, it says in Daniel 9, for your own sake, Lord, let your face smile again on your desolate sanctuary. Listen, my God, listen to us. Open your eyes and look on our ply and on the city that bears your name. We are not relying on our own good works, but on your great mercy. So when I'm talking about living a holy life, repenting and doing those things, you guys don't get it twisted. I do not, I know that that's not what, makes that's not what justifies me i do that because i love abba and he tell he he tells me to do those things he he says that's what pleases him okay and i do it out of the free will of my heart he's not forcing anything it's because out of the free will out of my heart that i love him and show him that that's not what that's not what uh makes me saved to command and humble plea to you listen lord lord forgive hear lord and act for your own sake for his sake 
He's going to gather us together for His holy name, not because of what we did. 